Hello, Quick Fire Foodies. I am Rosa Benitez, your chef mom. Join me for another round of 10-minute kitchen wonders here on Quick Fire, your step-by-step -step guide to everyday delicious meals for the busy you. Why one must really enjoy one great tasting adobo. Actually, sa bahay namin, yan ang comfort food. Yung chicken and pork adobo served with hot rice. Diba napakasarap? So for today naman, gagawa ko ng isang adobo dish. Hindi siya kasing popular ng chicken and pork adobo, pero masarap din siya. And I call my dish my Spanish-style fish adobo. So to everybody watching, set your timers and I'll start cooking. So, unahin na muna natin. We have your wok. Let's heat up our wok. Okay. Alam naman natin, Filipino national dish ang adobo. It's very popular. Actually, nag-originate siya doon sa northern region ng ating bansa. Tsaka marami ng mga versions na ngayon. In fact, meron ng cookbook na nilalagay pa doon nakalagay 101 ways to cook adobo. So, lagyan muna natin ng olive oil ang ating pan. For this recipe, I need a lot of oil. Yan. Kung di ba wala kayong olive oil, you could also use canola oil. We have here our carrots. Ako, baka nagtataka kayo ba tayo merong carrots? Eh, hindi naman gumagamit ng carrots for adobo. Kasi nga, ito yung twist dyan. Spanish style, di ba? So, we need just half of this. Let's just peel it. Minsan, mahirap balata ng carrots. So, pwede nyo gawin dyan. For you to peel it faster is to put it in hot water for a couple of minutes and take it out. Tapos, lagyan nyo sa cold water. And then, that's when you try to peel it. So, we just need half of this. Makikita niyo mamaya kung itong dish na to, kung ano yung resemblance na dun sa aking parang inspiration for my dish. So, let's just slice this into rings. Okay. And when you're purchasing carrots, make sure na yung binibili nyo still has yung kanya mga roots or yung leaves niya kasi that's when you'll know na fresh siya. Pero once you purchase it, kailangan tanggalin nyo na siya before you place it in the ref. We have here our garlic. Siguro mga 3 to 4 cloves. Okay, let me get my garlic chopper. Very handy. Chop ko lang siya. Hindi natin kailangan tong immense. Kasi naman, di ba, pagka nag-adobo tayo, gusto natin yung buo-buo pa. So, lagyan natin siya sa ating wok. And I'll put it here. There. So, gisa na natin. Then, our carrots. Siyempre, mas matagal maluto ang carrots natin. So, unahin natin yan. Meron din ako ditong pickles. Lagay natin lahat to. Yan, pickles. Nabibili ito sa inyo mga groceries. Siyempre, pag nagluluto tayo na adobo, ano nga ba yung lagi natin kailangan? Ang suka at ang toyo. Pero unahin na muna natin nating suka. I'm using cane vinegar for this recipe. Pero kung wala kayong cane vinegar, you could also use yung ordinary white vinegar. So, we need about 3 tablespoons of this. Lagi nating tandaan pag naglalagay tayo ng suka sa ating adobo, huwag muna natin siyang haluin. Ayan, muna natin siya mag-simmer for a couple of seconds kasi ayan nating mahilaw yung suka. So, ngayon naamoy ko yung tindi ng smell ng suka. Ayan. So, let's just let it simmer for a couple of seconds. And we have here our soy sauce. Lagay na natin siya dito. There. That's when we could actually stir it. Since gagamit ako ng fish ad for my adobo, hindi ko kailangang matagal na pakuluan to or lutuin. So, lagay ko na lahat ng iba ko pang spices. I have here, syempre, ang bay leaf or ang laurel. Peppercorns. Need about mga five pieces of peppercorns. Syempre, meron din akong cloves. O, diba, ang bango talaga na. Iba yung amoy na ibinibigay niya sa ating dish at lasa. Baka naiisip niyo na kung ano yung inspiration ko for this dish. Alam niyo, pag pumunta kayo sa mga groceries niyo, yung mga nakikita niyo doon na nakabottle na mga parang sardines, di ba? Ito naman may adobo flavor siya. So, pwede nyo to actually gawin na liba mga buong fish, mga bangus nyo, yung meron pa mga tinik-tinik. Pwede nyo i-marinate na yung mga ginagamit ko dito with their fish tapos pakuloan nyo at lutuin nyo for a long time para pwede nyo kainin yung buto. Pero since 10 minutes lang dapat tayo, aking mga ano dito lahat eh, shortcut na. We have here paprika. Yan. Meron tayong paprika. Just a little of this. At meron din tayong sili, kung halimbawa mahili kayo sa maanghang. So, gagamitin ko na aking kitchen scissors para mas madali. And now, we can put in our lapu-lapu filet. Yan, naka-cube na rin siya. So, this will cook fast. 
Lagyan na natin sa sa ating sauce. Ako kung mahilig ako sa adobo na hindi masyadong masabaw, mas gusto ko nga actually yung pagka the more you heat it, lalong nauubos yung sabaw niya, parang mas lalong kumakapit yung lasa sa ating karne. Let's add our ajinomoto umami super seasoning. Monosodium glutamate is made through the process of fermentation using natural food crops like tapioca, corn, and sugar cane. It's also the same process by which vinegar and chocolates are made. So, talagang natural siya. So, we'll just let this cook and simmer. Ilang minuto lang yan. We can cover this. While that is cooking, I'll just prepare my ingredients for my garnish. Meron ako ditong parsley and dayap or lemon. Kung halimbawa, wala kayong lemon, pwede kayong gumamit ng lime or pwede kayong gumamit ng kalamansi. So, let's just slice this into wedges and our parsley. Just get a handful of this. Itong parsley, it's not just going to act as garnish. This one actually has a lot of vitamins and minerals, which is good for our adobo dish. So now we can set this aside and we're ready to plate. We have here our pandesal para sa amin dalawa ni Monica. Okay, let's check our fish adobo. Nako ito, nakita niyo naman, luto na yung ating lapu-lapu. Ganun lang kabilis. So okay ito, we can now turn off the heat. And let me now plate. Kuha na lang tayo na ating mga fish chunks into our top of our pandesal. Siyempre, dapat meron din ako. Sasabayan ko si Monica. Okay, let's get some of the sauce. Konti lang. Patalagay natin around our bread. And also for Miss Monica. Let's place it here. And for our final touches, our dayap there and a sprinkle of parsley here and there. Ganun lang siya kabilis. Kakaiba na namang recipe for your family ang aking Spanish style fish adobo done in less than 10 minutes. And then Monica try the dish. Yes. I think Spanish style adobo. I have to say, this is the first time I'm actually having fish adobo. Talaga? Yeah. Oh, Tapos yeah. Spanish style pa. Yes. Oh, Gourmet <laughs> adobo. Kakaiba nga. Oh, with a bit of a chili. Uh, try yeah, it. Yeah, let me try it. Let me try it. Go enjoy the flavor. Mm. It's great to be able to still have that adobo taste. The twist nga is that you also, the, the fish, you know how fish yeah. has a certain taste, yeah. taste to it. And well, you said Spanish style. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a little there. bit of Paprika, spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah so fun. it's very delicious. And to have it on pandesal presented like this, and less than 10 minutes. Yun yun eh. That's the yun important yun, part. Yun yun that really is the important part. So, thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you so much, Monica, for guessing. Balik ka ulit dito. Always. Okay, at you see, want me? I'll, I'll, I'll be here. Ako, eh. na muna ako mm -hmm. sa ating televiewers. I'd like to thank Bika Cookware, Princess Appliances. Oxo Good Grips, Saver Supplies Depot, Blims Fine Furniture, Typeware. Create flavorful adobo recipes with Ajinomoto Umami Super Seasoning. Panala talagang adobo. Mapa breakfast, lunch, dinner. Talagang gustong gusto natin itong mga Pinoy ng ating pamilya. So try this new recipe at home and I'm sure magiging hit pa sa sabi ninyo. For more recipes, join me again next time only here on Quickfire.